On one side, the artwork paying tribute to Dunedin band The Chills remains intact. However, on the other side, the marks where the band's name has been crossed out are evident. It's the work of second year art student Emma Craig who chose the legendary Dunedin band as she grew up listening to her parents' Chills records. They're my favourite band and I thought they needed more recognition really in Dunedin. Well, you know, everywhere. But I don't know, I feel like a lot of people my age don't know about old bands like that and they need to, I think. However, two days after she painted the footpath facing side, this happened and we've muted the sound as the people talking to camera had a very limited and profane vocabulary. When she found out about her artwork being vandalised, Craig was angry with the attack and took to social media. She says this video was sent to her. The, well, as you see, Coyote is spray, um, painted on there and they're a Dunedin band as well, very small band. And I found that through Facebook and I got in touch with them about it to see if they knew anything and they sent me the video. The band themselves sent you the video of them doing it? Yes, and pretended that it was someone else. Emma Craig took the footage to Dunedin Police and played them the clip the band had sent her. Yeah, it really annoyed me because um, it had been hard work and it meant a lot to me because they're my favourite band. It's not just a random piece of artwork that I made up. So. I spend a lot of time on the design and everything and taken a lot of time to get it perfect and then someone had to come and do this. The Chills are currently recording out of town, but when contacted by the South Today, Martin Phillips said he was sad that someone has done this. Emma Craig liaised with Martin Phillips along the design process and says he was pleased with the design. He was really excited about it, he seemed like he was. And he said do us proud and yeah, I don't know, he seemed pretty happy about it. Emma Craig says she'll spend the next few weeks trying to fix the piece and finish the rest of the artwork. Daryl Baser, The South Today.